In a momentary calm, blades are sworn together, vowing to bring about the restoration of peace and order. The year is 190, and the Han Empire falters on the brink of destruction. Brought low by corrupt eunuchs, and strong-armed by the despot Dong Zhuo. The fires of war erupt across a once peaceful realm. In the growing chaos, rebellions rise and the Emperor's voice is drowned out by the tyrant's roar. The land suffers. Yet though they band together against a common foe, such a fragile alliance cannot hold forever. Yada 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 guys, it's your boy Falcon Fan Popcorn Falcon 798 here. Here <coughs> with Total War Free Kingdoms Dies. Now I have absolutely fallen in love with this game, guys. I've got quite a few hours into this now. Uh, as you can also probably tell by my game feeds as well, guys. I mean at the moment I'm playing as he ye. Sorry for any name pronunciation guys. I'm I do bad at that. I'm so sorry. I do try my best though. But as you can see I have been busy playing this game quite a lot. So we I'm here to bring with my what I know how to play now this game and I'm here to, you know, bring it to the channel. Anyway, we're here this game is probably, in my Tell -tell opinion, watches dynasties uh, fall and tyrants rise. He on. has seen power slip into the. This Total War game is probably my favourite Total War game, guys. In for a long time since medieval. I mean, Rome's good. Um, Rome Two, Shogun, the Warhammers, but I think this one is probably my favourite one. It's in a period of history I'm not too familiar with, and also all the mechanics for me mostly work well together. There's a couple of little bugs that really cheese me off, like the archers in this game, but I'll get to that later on in the video, guys, once we actually are playing with the archers. I'll explain it then. Um, but no, I do love this game. It's got a real sense of strategy here. The AI tries best most of the time. Um, you can, and depending on the factions you're going up against, depends on the challenge that you'll receive um, in return. And it's really, really well, especially with its new um, system in with romance and or the normal Total War experience records mode. I mean, records is the traditional way you play in other Total War games. But this mode here is, I have actually not played records since I've played this game. I've not once have I played it, guys. I've only been playing Romance. It's so brilliant. I mean, I want to explain what this one's like at some point, but that's not in this one, guys. It's not in this series. Romance is the one for us because all the generals form relationships and even, even towards other factions which can cause rivalries and and or big friendship losses and whatever else it can be really really not it's really good to see that depending on and each time you play this is going to be different as well um, it's really really great guys I love this one guys so yes general rise into battle as single powerful warriors who use larger than life abilities inspired by their feats in the romance of the three kingdoms as a parallel layer of counter versus counter combat in which generals must bold, take bold action to prevent enemy characters from devastating friendly units or from effectively supporting their own. To this end, generals are also able to engage each other in heroic duels as battle rage on around them. As characters increase in rank, they become increasingly resilient. What once would have killed them 
will only ruin them. And that's what we're going to be doing, guys. And what, like, each one of these guys is a different time in China's history with wars and everything. But, um... You can actually play through all of these four guys. You can actually, well, these three you can. Don't know about the Fates Divided one. I haven't actually had a chance to play that because it's the newest one out. But I know you can play through the Mandate of Heaven, through the Rise of the Warlords campaign, and into a World Betrayed. Because you, you can Tantor do that. is not ignorant to right. the failings of the Hun. I haven't finished yet talking yet. Thank you. Um, so yeah, guys, that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, I don't. So we're gonna start in possibly 182, guys, and play through these three. I don't know if we'll play through the fourth one or or, the, or if it won't. So I'm not too sure yet. We'll have to find and find out if we also manage to play through that. I'm looking forward to when we if we can. But yes, this takes place at the time of China's period. I, I don't know if this is the actual actual history. Is this real history? I think it is. Where, about the Yellow Turban Rebellion, about how the eunuchs, um, I believe, corrupted or whispering false things into the Emperor's ear, and there was a big war and um, stuff like that. So you'll find out with the cutscenes, guys. Um, so we can play as the. Yellow Turban Rebellions. Um, I have yet to actually really do that. I mean, I always start as Yellow Turbans, but in this year, but I never actually complete it. I mean, at the moment, uh, my one I'm doing at Tell the moment. Tell watches dynasties oh, fall. Oh yes, I get it. Set up in the year. What the why is the warlords? I'm doing he ye the uh, Turban Rebellions. Re which, as you saw, guys, have conquered round that bit now. So, what we'll probably do is... Um... I like all the factions. They're all really Tau good. Tau is not ignorant to the failings of... Tau Tau watches dynasties fall and... One faction I've yet to replay, though, guys, is the, is the tribes. You can only play them from this year, year, year onwards. We're going to go for one of the tribes, actually, guys. We're going to start the year 190, this t actually. Um, what, well, you've got Mulal, Menhau, Lady Shron, and Schmauk. And they're all down here, guys. Where, and you'll basically find out what their objective is in a minute. Um, each one has their own benefits. And these are the only factions that can have, actually have animals. Like, All um, are eager to make a name in the rising madness. Mulao can have the elephants. In the can the have tribe elephants. must be led by the mighty. Strong can have Patience tigers and whatnot. Smelt doesn't have any of it. Will the um, will not then they all got different diff diff difficulties. Those who wait will have their ashes blown away by the wind. Lady Ju Rong believes that only through her might. Inherited, they say, from the goddess of fire herself. Will her people succeed where others have floundered? We could play as her. Start over there, have the tigers. Try and increase our territory. Um, you'll get tiger warriors, assault infantry, and tiger slingers. Really, really nice. But I kind of really want, kind of want elephants. The tribe must be led by the mighty. Those ready to rule. Gang War shows his friends every Wrong generosity hall. and his enemies an unending merciless rage. Uh, Gang's temporary bonuses from fealties. Effects last for a number of turns and can be stacked. Access to all reform areas. And we get Na Nang's Hong elephants. What does Mulao get? The Viper in the grass holds acquired power. The world of men is barely a footnote to King Mu Lu. Nature is his calling, defending it against those who threaten such ancient orders. Okay. Defeat high-ranking characters to gain pride quickly. Gain access to multiple animal units. Conquer regions to learn new rituals. Research economic reforms faster. So we'll get southern elephants, war elephants, Ravine Warriors. Let's look at his character. His agamatic, wise, solitary, 
Narman. Fury is the staple of the Narman, as is the destruction it brings. Plus 10 campaign movement range for, for his own army, and minus 8% upkeep for animal units. That's going to be really useful. The world of men is barely a footnote. Oh, she read that out. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, we'll start as King, as Mu, Chief Mulu. Right, let's go. Of course, guys, I'll try to be quiet in any cutscenes, guys, unless I have a really strong opinion of that cutscene, obviously. And our victory conditions unite all tribes and control all 21 Narman land counties while controlling 50 counties overall. We're attaining both of these conditions for 20 turns. That's a big freaking objective. And difficulty is on hard, guys. So, yes, and no battle time limit. Don't like that. I like to take my time, guys. Right. To rule is no one's right. It must be earned. In the south, at the far tips of the hand's grasp, defiant tribes slip through the Empire's fingers. Their independence both drives and divides them. Only strength and purpose bind them together. Strength of the beast. Strength of the tribe. Strength of the will. United as one, the Nan Man would be a power to contend with the Empire. Yet fractured, they will fall. A leader must rise. Who amongst them has the strength to unite and rule? The land calls to the Nanman. How they answer will determine the future of all. Let's get into this, guys. Sounds amazing, doesn't it, guys? Let's go into it. Chaos has come to China. That which was solid now shifts and crumbles. The mighty Han Empire begins to fall. And those on its southern edges watch with great interest as their would-be oppressors begin to come apart. Uh, yeah, it's frozen for the moment. She'll carry on after the rest of the loading is done. Um, yes, guys, I have yet to really play the Nun Man. I played them a little bit when I first got this game back last year. And I thought they were right, but then I quickly turned on to other people like Lutza, uh, Cow Cow. I played a little These bit of them. Oh, here peoples, we go. Native powers and ancient tribes wish only for autonomy and rise with great and determined fury against any who would threaten them. Yet even they are not immune to the politics and quarrels of internal dispute. You think for the moment? Okay. Yeah, um, I've yet to really play them properly. I mean, I played Lutzer, uh, Cow Cow, a little bit of Leo Bay. Um, he, okay, he, I think his name is. Um, I've played... A little bit of Dongzhu, Dongzhu, I can't pronounce the names, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, I've played a few of them, um, but my favourite one so far is Lutzer and he and he Yi. Uh, uh, those are my two favourite ones, guys. Let me know what your favourite one is down below, guys. I'd really be interested in knowing, of course. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys, for more juicy content on the way. And my drink of choice for this episode, guys, is Vimto, orange, strawberry, and lime. Very, very nice, guys. Let me know what you're drinking down below, guys.
Oh, the one thing, love it annoys me. Loading times. Because how big my battles can be in this, guys, we'll probably only have time for, for most of the time, probably for one battle, guys. Maybe two at a push. Because some of the battles can go on for like half an hour. Guys, I've got really big units, guys. I wanted to feel, I wanted to make it feel really epic, so, you know. I like the bigger unit scales. Now my computer can just about run it, guys, so, yay! Right, the tribes until now have only known disunity, but now great warriors have risen to unite them as one. Lady Ju Rong, said to be descended from the fire goddess, vows to do what no tribal leader has found the strength to do so far. Yet Meng Huo, another tribal king, sees himself as the ideal candidate to finally bring unity to a fragmented people. Okay. It is now the year 190 CE, and these warriors and leaders step into the frame. Above all else, one thing is clear. The tribes cannot remain fractured if they wish to survive. One leader amongst the many must bind the Nam Man together against a common threat or watch as they fall one by one to oblivion. Yes, guys, we got to as uh, Chief Mulu. Your connection to the natural world is powerful, King Mulu. You must surely then have felt the shifting ground beneath you. The world is on the brink of calamity, and you alone offer the strength capable of stemming the madness. You must achieve many things if the land is to be saved. The tribes must be united as one, and controlled. But you must first put down any who would choose instead to fight. The Zhao Si nearby are belligerent. You are a fierce warrior. It would seem provident, then, that you show them the folly of their ways. They will kneel or die. Okay. There is also the matter of King Dosa. He is weak and unable to defend himself. Perhaps he would be better employed in your service. Beyond that, the border lords of the Han are a dangling blade, a waiting threat that, if left unchecked, will surely wreak their own havoc upon the south. Sir she is the current master sent to keep the peace, yet his presence is a corrosion of the land. Once your strength is secure, he too must be confronted and your lands consolidated. Okay. You are master of the land and beast, King Mulu. Use both against your foes and bind together the southern tribes like roots into the very earth. Can she be the leader of our tribe? She sounds more passionate. We get, get one peep out of King Mulu. He's a, not, he's a quiet man. King Mulu, long have you defended with an unmatched power against those who seek to corrupt and pollute the land. Now that strength is required more than ever to unite the tribes against enemies within and, and without the Huns. The Huns loom large whilst the tribes threaten to tear each other apart. Unite the Mulu and let land and beasts prosper once again. Conquer target ritual religions to unlock powerful bonuses for your faction due to your connection with the natural world animal units cost less and are more powerful okay cool get rid of her the mission issue the ambitious leader takes their first steps we must take our first steps to unite the people of the south we have feuded with our neighbors for long enough now is our, the time to strike and send a message to our enemies Treasury 2,000 gold. And that is to take this place off him. Okay, let's go. Right. Uh, 
Uh, we don't have recruit any troops, so let's just go straight down and attack this tutorial mission. If it, if it will let me. There is barely anybody here. Fury unrestrained. Unleash fury. Right, let's do this battle, guys. We're not going to delegate it. We're going to rush all those guys. Our first battle. You always got to do the first battle, guys. The wars of men are such curious Oh, things. he's finally speaking. Bombastic but fleeting. They crash upon the land like the winds upon the mountainside. Without meaning or direction. Yet so often, they wound nature. Leaving scars not so easily mended. It is then... My ire is risen. It is now. I must uncoil like the serpent in the grass, and with my venom, drain the life of those who would, whether knowing or unknowing, do us harm. You heard it from him first, guys. He finally spoke about his intentions. Now we know what kind of man he is. Sounds like a nice chap, doesn't he? You just got to wait for these goddamn loading times. I am so sorry about that, guys. What is your favourite factor in this, guys? Let me know down below. Come on, any moment now. Half the battle, I swear, is waiting for this. Right, let's go. Our first battle. Right, we're going to go like that. We're going to have our elephants over here. Straight away there, man. Sorry about my bad depression there. And you can... Whoa. Wah! You can... Sorry about that, guys. You can go up there and let's have a little look at our troops. There we are, guys. Look at that. This is a mod, by the way. Battle cam, uh, cinematic cam, which allows you to view your troops a little bit more better, guys. Oh, ain't they nice? Oh, what? One way. There we are. They do look nice. Uh, let's have a little look at our elephants, shall we? Oh, look at those beauties. Ready to do some massive damage upon the enemy in a minute. Woo! Let's have a little look at our leader as well. That's our leader there, Muki Mulu. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, there we are. Now we should win this. We should win this. Right, they're just up ahead. Stand ready. Move up that way. You guys move up there. They're going to stay there, defend themselves, that's fine. First little trick battle here, guys. going to be lovely, jubbly. I love the flags and everything, and I love their armour. It looks so snip nifty, guys. I love it. Let them have skirmish on as well. I'm oh, sorry, fight we want. Right. Doesn't want to duel. Damn, okay. Right. Ready. Let's pause this. Get these guys to form up there. And get these bad boys. To form up Ooh, right no right there. 
Yeah, no, right there actually. Let's go. And they can definitely crash into those axes. That's going to be so glorious to watch, guys. Oh, everything's moving up. Are they going to move up or are they going to retreat? They're not moving up, okay. Right, well, look, let me in group formation like that. Right, go on down there. Let's do this, guys. We're going to want to wait until there. Um, spear, well, the spearmen can't really get involved. Let's just charge in our cav. Sorry, our cav. Our elephants. Hang on. Let's wait for them to get a bit closer. Look at this, guys. Tell me that ain't awesome. Woo! Oh, damn. Rip! A comrade is being attacked! Is there going to be anyone left after that? <laughs> oh, low, low, low. Right. We keep getting that which that which that right. Get you and you to fire on them and you just to charge in there. Let's go. Now get over there, come on. Good. Go, go, go! A comrade is being attacked. George back into them. Good. Look at that. Oh, hello. Nice one, Slingers. Charge into them now. The South can never be yours. Die with the rest of your tribe. Enemy unit flees. Into what them. Oh, this is what I hate about my archers. Why does he they move up like that? Oh. Go on, kill these slingers. Going down nicely. Nice, we're always dropping there. Look, Lovely. the enemy run. Good. A turn. Lovely, lovely. Move our elephants out. Victory! 
Come on, get out of there. Cool. Right, charge into the behalf of them. King Mulu's over there, yes! Lovely, jubbly guys! Finish him off. Far too long already. Talk, talk, talk. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> victory. They're just getting walked on. Whoopsie guys, sorry about that. Decisive victory guys. Well done us there, well done us. We she knew uh and Jai Bang I am so sorry about the name guys, I really am. Our elephants getting five hundred and thirty kills there. 194, 145, not bad, not bad, 66, 65, this one getting the lowest amount of kills there. Oh, 41 Let's there was feasting there. commence! We only lost 272 and we captured 251. We could confederate him, vassalize him. Um, we're gonna... Um, we'll and so, right. together we grow stronger. As they fight side by side. Yep, we know our generals grow relationships. Yes, and we got another token thingy for ourselves. And two thousand more gold doubloons and faction confederated. Lovely, jubbly King Mulu. Lovely. Fealty of Daizu. The people of Daizu remember the times before the Han dominance, and as such, can often be found bearing stones near Mayun's column to some, to some a sign of security, to others a mark of misfortune. Okay. The Narman expand their reach. Now we have established our, ourselves, we should secure more lands, a firm bedrock with, from which our empire can burge and and flourish, okay. Control two more regions, lovely jubbly. Okay. Trust in uh, okay. That's a bit of a fortunate. Uh we could get the Emperor seat. <laughs> Long. A Narman as Emperor. That'd be actually quite hilarious. This area will build up, obviously. And we'll obviously see if we can get some more troops. Nope, not yet. Okay, we have to put the units next turn. And we will. Oh, okay, it's going to be like this. Um. That seems really good. 10 plus, 10% melee armor piercing damage. We'll, we'll take that. Oh, okay. We can't. Oh, we'll put it in here first. Okay, we'll put it in, in instinct. We shall apply it to that. Okay. 
Uh, we'll give you a follow up. It's not going to be the best of followers, but it's a follower nonetheless. All this stuff, guys, increases little bonuses, gives them little stuff to help them along. You know, plus 8% to population, 15 to trade. So, you know, it all helps out. And let's see what stuff we can get by talking to people. Let's see what people like us the most. Uh, this will be short. Let's see if we can trade. Okay, let's talk to you. Come, we will talk. Okay, it won't let me trade with him. What shall we discuss today? Okay, uh, who can we trade with then? Okay, they're fine, we're just trying. We just. Come about you then. Can we trade Speak with quickly. you? Speak quickly! No, okay. Not really worth it, is it, guys? Not trying to make it work because they'll want some sort of gold and. Don't really want to risk that. Well, I say risk that. We don't really want to do that at the moment. Uh, but we will grab a bit of research, and we've got to do the top one there, which we've received an elephant, which can be equipped as a mount, so we've got to do that one first. We shall take five turns to do so, and we'll end our first turn. Let's see what all the other people are up to today. And there, little corners of China. Not too sure. Okay. Our turn, guys. Our turn. Let's carry on. The ritual of the stone forest. It is said that Ashrami have been forbidden to marry her love turned into a, a stone within the stone forest. This powerful symbol attracts many pilgrims to the grey walls of the forest and the site itself contains a strange power. Gain ritual of the elephant for King Mulu. Gain ritual of the ox for King Mulu. Lovely jubbly and we've got something up here in our court. So we can have it for tribal council now. The tribal council is the most vented group which, which whose sage advice is cherished greatly by their leader. As you gain the fealty of more major tribes the council will grow accordingly. So, you satisfaction. Okay, Lee Bao would appreciate it by more, but because of his satisfaction of 24, so we'll put him in there. What else will he, what would he do? Plus five, trade influence, faction wide, minus two to corruption, and no desire for high office until he reaches rank three. We can have him in there. And we can eventually seek a spouse for him or anything but we're gonna keep our options open for open for a while he's only 21 don't want to marry him off just yet now do we guys um now ooh. unfortunately this guy here has the things we want so hang on let me just do that Um, let's zoom out. I mean, we could expand southwards, go through Yang Fing's territory, and right through that way, or we because we're not ready for this guy yet, not even close. We need to establish ourselves more before we go taking on anything of that quality. Um, so we go through Yang Fing's, they're not really overly fond of us anyway. Uh, we can conquer his territory as well and make a nice little pattern. I always go for pattern design, what looks like the nicest look to my empire, or we'll start of my empire, and, and I think that would like a nice little line there, guys, would be a nice little start, that way we can push upwards that way. That's my little how we, that's how I think, guys. So, we're gonna start recruiting some more troops for King Mulu straight away. 
Oh, you're going to have fire archers. They're going to be very bad, but the main thing is fire. And that is going to be very cute, useful when it comes to forest. forest ah, forest areas. But we're going to get um, a couple of those, a couple more melees. And we will get a couple of fire archers as well. And we will recruit another tribe guy, another chief, another little, another little chieftain in here for us. We're gonna recruit chieftain. I'm trying to go for the easy, easier pronounced one. Your one thousand, yeah, your satisfaction is high, but your minus. We'll go for J. Kwai Ju. I think I pronounced that so wrong, but hey ho. And we're going to recruit him. He hasn't got have much. So we're going to have some. Wow, they're good. They're really good. We'll have these guys, please. We'll have some chosen warriors. And we'll have a sl sling, a couple of slingers. And that sh Oh, we can't have any more. Okay, so we'll, that'll take its time to recruit. And we'll move in next turn up down to the east, I'm wanting to say. East or west? I'm not too sure. Uh, so we see what the turn brings for us, guys. We can declare war on them once our troops have been more replenished, obviously. We don't want to declare war willing nilly, now do we? We want to do it when we're ready. If we can, obviously. He's only got two territories down there, though. If we strike him now before he's properly built up, it would be easier now. And I'm talking about this guy. It would be easier. But should we establish ourselves first? That's what I'm thinking. Should we establish ourselves, build ourselves up right until we got the power we need to then take him on? Or should we take him out now while before he gets any strength before he gets his strength built built up? I think I'm leaning more towards building myself up, go through the tribes first a little bit, and then once we're stronger and more able and capable, go through his lands. The ritual begins. Up to four rituals have been randomly drawn from your pool of unlocked rituals. We've only unlocked two, so we get a choice of two. And these will provide certain bonuses, but at the same time, they will add minuses as well. So you've got to choose carefully what you want at the time. Uh, we are going to be building a little bit more, so I do say probably construction is probably better. As you know, public order actually is going to be the better thing for us guys. Thinking actually, satisfaction of public order, satisfaction for our generals. Public order for our town. Yeah, so that lasts four turns. As the night draws in, your shaman comes to you. It is time, my lord. The stars are aligned and the night birds have begun the chant. To whom shall we pay our respects this eve? You must choose and wisely, as they will affect their old people greatly over the coming year. Be like the elephant who remembers all the learning learns from their past. Yes. Go for that one. Right, he's building up slowly. So I think we're going to go against the tribes here, guys. And we're going to go through these these lands first. I mean, if we're going to move. Ten turns? Are you having a Barney? I should have. Wow. Your Actually, no, we'll leave it on starts. normal so that way we can replenish our troops. And that's all we can really do, guys, for now is end our turn really built up. Because, you know, it's going to take us a while to move anywhere by the looks of it. Gao Gan, Hang Fu, Hang Chao. On Empire, Ho An Zhu, Jai Wong Kong Wong, Kong Zhu Leo Bao. So many names, guys, it's ridiculous. 
I don't mean ridiculous in a bad way, just I would never go remember all these names. Gongdu, Heong Xiao, I think, Gao Ming, Ying Xiao, Kai Pong, Liao Kong, King Wang Hao. Oh, wow, so many names. Whew. All right, we can build things again now. Last time we built something here, which was a tea grower. Let's say we get pine wood cutter, which will increase our income to under 30, 10 reserve cap capacity, 10 plus campaign movement, which is yes. We'll grab that now. Issue declaration of war. Wait, what? What treaties? I am not in the mood. Oh, non aggression pact, really? Oh, dang it. Wait, have we got non aggression? We don't have a non aggression pact with him. King Meng Hao. We could try and attack King Meng Hao before he gets really powerful. He doesn't like me much at all. Choose your words wisely. Okay, let's have a trade agreement with this guy for now. We get a bit extra money coming in. We go against King Man Hal. Get out that contestant while we can and give us time for our troops to be a bit more replenished, maybe. Or go against up here against Zanjik. Maybe. Let me know, guys, who you think we should go we up against for the next episode, guys. Should we go against... Let, yeah, just let me us know, guys, who do you think we should go up against? Because this is where I'm going to leave it for today, guys. Leave it up to you. Should we go against Dong Tiang, Zhang Jank Tribes, King Meng Hao? We can't go against, against him. Should we break the treaty, become untrustworthy, and attack him anyway? Should we just break the trade agreement I just set up with Yang Feng? Or should we go against Shai Axe? This guy here, who's going to be very powerful, but take but do we take him out before he becomes that powerful enemy while he's still weak and get these two commanderies in our possession? Let us know, guys. And until next time, guys, stay popping and stay fresh. Ciao for now. Ciao. For now.